This is Manhattan, the heart of one of the world's richest cities, a symbol of the economic achievements of the developed world. Its wealth has been built on risk-taking, building businesses, borrowing to invest. But can the same financial principles that have made the rich rich also help the poorest of the poor? Half the world, nearly three billion people, live on less than $2 a day. Now, a new idea is giving hope to some of these people. It's called microcredit. The principle is simple. Give the world's poorest access to capital, something essential to growing even the smallest businesses so they too can invest in themselves and their futures. We went to Kenya in the heart of Africa to meet a man whose life has already been transformed by microcredit. Kenya's capital, Nairobi, is also home to the largest slums on the continent, with around half of the three million residents living in shanty towns. Arguably the worst of these slums is the infamous Mathare Valley, home to 700,000 poor Kenyans. Into this deprived and hostile environment came an organization called Jami Bora. It was started by an extraordinary woman determined to bring microfinance to the poorest and most disadvantaged people in Kenya. So we started a small green grocery business, and in six months I had paid back the money and went back to Jami Bora and borrowed the second drone. His hard work was rewarded by early success, and at last it gave him the opportunity to fulfill his role as the eldest son in a Kikoyu tribe. 